Every woman who is successful, regardless of the field that she works in, is deemed to be the exception that proves the rule. The central driving dramatic engine of virtually every play was a male. It can be done, we have seen improvements made, we're by no means near the promised land, but we're quite away. We were told that every under Thatcherism was in fact a virtue. Greed, selfishness, no care for the weaker, sharp elbows, sharp knees, they were the way forward. We heard much over and will continue to hear over the next week of the barriers that were broken down by Thatcherism, the establishment that was destroyed. We can't take it. What we actually saw, the word that has been circling around with stars around it, is that she created an aspirational society. It aspired for things, as indeed one of the former Prime Ministers, who himself had been elevated to the House of Lords, spoke about selling off the family silver, and people knowing under those years the price of everything and the value of nothing. What concerns me is that I am beginning to see possibly the re-emergence of that total traducing of what I regard as being the basis spiritual nature of this country, where we do care about society, where we do believe in, in communities, where we do not leave people to walk by on the other side. That isn't happening now. Well, now you've returned to the stage. Yeah. And uh, first you played uh, Lear at the Old Vic. Thank you. Right there. I, what we did was I envisioned, we envisioned, she is hung. And she's hanged, technically. Yes, she's hanged. She's hanged. Sorry, okay. Yeah. What's the difference? Don't mean to teach the British their language, but go ahead. Properly. <laughs> Glinda Jackson, Oscar-winning actress and former MP, dies at the age of 87. Jackson won two Oscars, three Emmys, two BAFTAs, and a Tony in an acting career, which spanned six decades. Sir Jonathan said... He believed she was the greatest actor that this country has ever produced. Jackson gave up acting to join the House of Commons as a Labour MP in North London from 1992 to 2015. That included two years as a junior transport minister in Tony Blair's new Labour government from 1997. She later returned to acting, playing King Lear on stage in 2016, then winning a BAFTA for her screen comeback in the TV drama Elizabeth is Missing in 2020. In a statement on Thursday, her agent Lionel Lerner said Glenda Jackson, two-time academic award-winning actress and politician, died peacefully at her home in Black Health, London this morning after a brief illness with her family at her side. She recently completed filming The Great Escaper in which she co-starred with Michael Caine. Sir Michael first acted with Jackson in 1975. Following their recent reunion, he said, It was a wonderful an experience this time, as it was 50 years. I shall miss her. Other tributes were paid from actors around, around the world of the arts and politics. Labour MP Tulpik Siddiq, who now sits in Jackson's former seat, tweeted, Devastated to hear that my predecessor, Glenda Jackson, has died. A formidable politician, an amazing actress, and a very supportive mentor to me, Hampstead and Kilburn will miss you, Glenda. May her soul rest in peace, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.